Hi, I am Dr. Ahmed Kamal Hassan and I am initiating a video series on signals and systems. So in layman terms, we have an input that is x of t. We feed this input to a system and at the output of system, we have another function that is y of t. So signals are simply functions. So over here, they are functions of time that is x of t and y of t and system is a unit that translates the input to an output signals and systems is the fundamental course in most engineering disciplines so in the video over here we have shown the function generator which is the input and at the output we have leds so these leds can blink based on the input say voltage or current same kind of behavior can be observed in mechanical systems so in mechanical systems based on a given input uh, the engine or a hydraulic pump can operate right furthermore uh, for arithmetic units and for processing uh, units you can simply program some stuff and the output of ALU uh, would give you some operations that you desire right and neural networks artificial intelligence biomedical engineering so all of these areas and domains use signals and systems quite rigorously so in this course i would loosely be using the textbook signals and system by oppenheim and wilski this is easily available in most parts of the world and moreover in the subcontinent uh, the low price editions are also available so this is a good textbook throughout these videos i would also be using some other books given in the bibliography at the bottom of this video so what do we cover in this course uh, initially we will be looking into signals uh, different types of signals and operations on signals and then we'll move towards systems uh, we would specifically spend some time on linear time invariant systems we would look into the aspects of convolution and then from there on we would move towards transforms such as loss transform and z transform we would also look into Fourier series and Fourier transforms. So more formally, uh, the learning outcomes of this video series would be understanding continuous time and discrete time signals and systems in time and frequency domain using mathematical framework. The second learning outcome is applying time domain analysis techniques to solve the continuous time and discrete time linear time invariant systems. The next learning outcome is analyzing LTI systems using Laplace transform and Z transform techniques. And finally, analyzing continuous time and discrete time signals and LTI systems using Fourier analysis techniques. So you can see a lot of analyzing, applying and understanding. So this means that students do have to spend considerable amount of time in practicing the exercise questions, right? A number of exercise questions are given in, a, in the textbook. This course also engages software and for that I have selected MATLAB as a software for this video series. Uh, I do note that the MATLAB is not a freeware and you have to spend a good amount of money to get the license but also some low price uh, student versions are available. Furthermore, uh, whatever you code in MATLAB, you can just simply copy it and you can paste it on the octave which is on the web so you can easily uh, replicate the results in octave so if you do not have matlab you can use octave and over here octave-online.net uh, you can do all kind of stuff right so as a quick demo of matlab versus octave let us look into a quick demo so say i generate a variable say a which starts at one and with an increment of 1 it terminates at 10 right and i have another function b so this is simply um, say exponential of a and then we can plot a comma b and we have a plot so let's do this stuff on octave so in octave let us define the variable a again so 1 with an increment of 1 to 10 and then b is simply exponential of a and then we are going to plot a comma b and here we have the plot 
so both the plots are exactly identical and this makes my point that you can use octave as an alternate for the matlab while this course desires some time from the students in terms of practicing the problems and doing all kind of analysis stuff but at the same time this course is engaging exciting and rewarding as we head towards the next generation of engineering design problems so i wish all of you to have fun learning thank you